Apple Maps is finally getting some notable updates in iOS 17 and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything that's new in Apple Maps. If you haven't already done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. It does help out the channel a lot. Apple has come a long way since it first introduced its very own Maps application. I don't know if anyone recalls this, but when Apple launched its Maps back in iOS 6, this was the icon that was used and it pretty much tells the person to take a left into the highway from an overpass. It's fair to say Apple Maps wasn't very well liked by the masses at launch, but since then Apple has truly come a long way with its Maps application. In iOS 17, Apple's bringing a lot more features and it just might be enough to have people to start using Apple maps more getting right into the video the first major change that we have in apple maps is the introduction of ev charging right within the apple maps so if you drive an electric car and you're looking to find a supercharger or a charging network near you you can actually do that in the maps application and also gives you a lot more information it gives you the amount of chargers that are available the pricing whether it's paid or free the distance and as well as the charging speeds so sometimes you're going to get 50 kilowatt hours sometimes 150 and it can also go up to like 350 so depending on the charging point that you want to go to you can opt for the fast chargers or the slow chargers or see what is actually available nearby and the best thing about about this is that Apple is displaying all this information right within the Maps application in real time. Next we have some user interface updates so if you go into the Maps application and you search for a destination and you start doing a route for that destination instead of just giving you one option for driving or anything like that it's going to give you all of the five options so you can walk you can take transit you can bike or you can even call a taxi depending on the availability in your area. Before this used to be a drop down menu so you'd have to select which method you want to use in a drop down menu but now in iOS 7 it's fully listed out for you and you can have the five icons right there at the top so you can easily access them I'm not too sure if this next one was available in iOS 16 but I only see it in iOS 17 but if you go into your maps and you start a destination and you start doing your navigation you can actually control the volume of the voice right within the maps application so you can see I set up a destination right now and if I pull up on this little drop down menu it's going to give you more options and you have the option to customize the voice volume so you can choose it to be softer normal or even louder this next feature is limited to the united states and some of the national parks available in the united states but what this does is pretty much it gives you service warnings whenever you're traveling to a location that might not have service so let's say you're going to yosemite park um i'm not too sure if they have service or not but i'm just using an example if you were to go to this location and they don't have cell coverage, it would actually let you know in the maps application that you're going to have limited service or you might not have service at all when you visit this location. As of right now, it is limited to the United States and a few national parks in the United States, but I do see Apple planning to bring this to other places around the world and hopefully they do that soon. And finally, the biggest change coming to Apple Maps in iOS 17 is the ability to download maps for offline use. Now, Google Maps did have this for a very long time and that's one of the major features why people haven't switched from Google Maps to Apple Maps because they have the ability to download maps for offline viewing and with iOS 17 Apple is finally bringing that to Apple Maps. As you can see right now I did search up Vancouver and then it gives me the option to download the maps and it's going to give me this grid layout where I can just customize the space of which area I want to cover and which areas I want to download for offline viewing and you can just select the area and then click download and it's going to download that right onto your phone. The downloads do vary some of them could be around like 300 megabits but sometimes it can also go up as high as three gigabytes when you download these maps onto your device it gives you every single information as if you were connected to the internet the only information that you're not going to be getting is real-time traffic because you need an active internet connection for that to be available other than that everything else works just the way you'd use maps you can still see store location you can see mall locations you can search up any addresses everything works perfectly fine the only thing that you won't be getting is real-time traffic and there you have it that's pretty much it for this video if you guys did like this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up Subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.